We want to make sure that we are defunding the police and utilizing those resources to invest in our communities. Dad, we need to, we need to talk. What is it, son? He's such a character. When I heard him singing, you know, she's real fine, ma for when I, it cracked me up. That record to me is so quaint and it's so cool. And we got off so bad listening to him play the guitar. And we all jumped up and were applauding and giving him a standing ovation when you know when we uh, heard the first playback of it. Ford Motor Company isn't exactly where Jim Farley thought it'd be right now especially after he reported a $2 billion loss in his last earnings call. Well, car thefts are on the rise, including those stolen directly from car dealerships. And Queen City News reporter Sydney Heiberger is live outside of CMPD tonight, who says that they are investigating any possible connection between recent dealership thefts. Sydney. But the clear sign here is that it's becoming extremely difficult to afford a car period and we're starting to see the signs at least from gm i believe by their massive slowdowns layoffs which are going to happen here either through buyouts or forced layoffs and they also have pauses in production at different plants General Motors will be sending an offer letter, basically already has sent an offer letter to the majority of its salaried workforce offering voluntary buyouts. Remember, GM is in the midst of cutting about $2 billion. That's the target in terms of how much money it expects to cut this year. Uh, essentially, it's looking for savings. And we've seen this with other automakers where they have either announced buyouts and or layoffs. And it was just about a week and a half ago that General Motors said that it would be uh, eliminating about 500 jobs, salary jobs around the world as it looks to streamline its operations. Now we know that the company is sending out an offer letter to almost all of its salaried staff saying there will be an offer for a buyout. How many take it, how successful this is, and whether or not this keeps the company from having to initiate some type of a broader layoff, that remains to be seen. But we shouldn't be surprised, guys. We've seen this with other automakers, and now we're seeing it with GM. Watch as thieves break into this car dealership in Lexington, using a crowbar to break into the key lockbox and driving away with seven cars worth nearly $350,000. This happened February 19th. Between recall issues and his dealer network trying to rip off customers, the Ford CEO hasn't been able to catch a break lately, but something has changed as the CEO has just landed a huge deal that could change everything for them. <laughs> this is amidst a, uh, an economy, at least in the United States, that is displaying these different metrics, which do not bode well for affordability. We have record $16.5 trillion in household debt, record $11.9 trillion in mortgages, record $1.6 trillion in auto loans, record $986 billion in credit card uh, debt, total mortgage debt is now more than double the 2006 peak. Meanwhile, 36% of Americans have more credit card debt than savings with balances rising at the fastest pace since 1999. This is all while mortgages rates just hit 7.1% and credit card debt rates hit a record 24.9%. So the economy is not doing great. <laughs> Fast forward eight days later, 
Adams Auto on Independence Boulevard in Charlotte was hit. The thieves drove through the doors with a Maserati and three BMWs, a total value of about $300,000. This is amidst uh, the fact that the average new car price in the right now in the United States is $50,000 per new car. How does this bode well for a company like GM or others that are not, you know, Tesla essentially, that are saying new cars in a market where affordability is becoming harder and people do not have the money and have too much debt to afford a new car. Two more thefts on March 9th and 13th. The former in Cornelius at Modern Nissan on Statesville Road. Video shows the suspects driving off with an Audi and a Dodge. And then on Monday, these bandits made out with six cars from Mountain Mitsubishi in Hickory, totaling nearly half a million dollars. We shouldn't be surprised, guys. We've seen this with other automakers, and now we're seeing it with GM. It is moving to keep costs in line as much as possible. Yeah, and the police departments in nearly all of those four incidents we just told you about are still looking for suspects or even the cars. So if you have any information about any of these dealership thefts, be sure to contact your local police department. The next crisis is already waiting for us around the corner. Thanks a lot for searching that out. I appreciate that. Fisherman in the box. Fisherman in a box.